Ho, ho, bloody ho. Ah. Yeah, Christmas lights. Failed. I tried them as you do before you put it on the tree. Lit for one second, then it went pop. Just a soft pop, not a bang. Soft pop. But, yeah. It don't work. I'll give it a few minutes. See if it can be repaired. No chance. Especially if it's... Uh, Especially not if it's a microcontroller or anything like that. I'll see if I can open it. That came apart fairly easily. With the adoption of my old friend, Wood Chisel. Looking for skid marks. Anything obvious? Some black marks along this trace there. This seems to be a switch mode power supply. Oh, it's got to be, isn't it? To be this small. There's probably a few there. That's probably what's gone. I'll have a measure. Unfortunately, I've not had any luck with this. Too many small parts, too many transistors and microcontrollers. The only thing I did find was that resistor. It looks different to this. It looks like it's blown, but it hasn't. It's still got resistance across it. I don't know what value it's supposed to be, but hey ho. So, what I was planning to do. Supply some voltage across this. So what's it supposed to be? About 24 volts. Oh, th th 30, up to 30. And that says. I'm sure it said something. Go, rated inputs, 30 volts. I'm going to try try and apply some voltage. <laughs> I may get a fixed light out of it. Make it something. So, so that is positive. And the other two are negative. Let's set up something. I've got this set up for 24 volts output and about 100 milliamps. It should be about 3 watts rated. It's a little bit big. I should hold it there so it doesn't short. Boom or bust. Ha! <laughs> There's life. Ah. Some of the mullets. Okay. Let's try this other side. Some others are lit. Spike. I can bridge across these two pins. Get it closer. Bridge across these two negatives. Should get them all lit. One quick modulator. I've used the original um, connector from the what do you call it, the wall adapter. I've twisted these two wires together, even though they're red. The negative, and the black one is positive for some reason. And now I've got them working singly. Let's see what happens after I twisted them together. Will they still work? <laughs> and they're all lit. Wee! Done. Christmas lights. <laughs> and good for 24 volts as well. And while I'm not clever enough to fix this kind of thing with its microcontrollers, etc., I can certainly make things work again. They're not twinkling or flashing, but it's better than the dark tree I've got currently in the corner. Whee! Right, so all I need now is I can hook this up. I need a 24 volt power supply. 
I just happen to have one of course it it's not blue Peter but yeah this is from a drill very old drill uh, that's well, it says it's a charger but it's just a that's the charger that's just a power supply what does that say 24 volts 400 milliamps so all I need now is a socket on the end to accept that and we're away I've put a socket on the end of the LEDs I'll put some more heat shrink on that if it works my only concern now is, is this adapter as it gives them about 35 volts under no load I just measured on on the jack seeing as this takes very little load will this drop and will it be safe and will it work it's the name of my channel isn't it make it work see if, see, see, see if we can make it work that in and success or failure success that means I don't have to buy a new set of lights see how pretty that is pretty it's better than no lights at all ho ho Bloody ho, indeed. It's another thing saved from landfill. That can go up on the tree. And if that's made you seasonably happy, feel free to give me thumbs down, thumbs up, and a kebab. Or a mince pie. <laughs>